Hey, good afternoon guys. This is Jimmy from Primer Disc Best. I've got my new phone. It's a Motorola. I don't know too much about smartphones because I'm because <laughs> I'm not smart, but seriously. Well, yeah, that is serious. But anyway, I've had a flip phone for 20 plus years and I love flip phones. They're handy. Uh, you can drop them. No big deal. But, uh, my wife has convinced me to get one of these type phones and I'm trying it out. I have another phone that I, I call it a play phone that I do videos with, but it has no service unless I have Wi-Fi. So if I carry it in my pocket, of course, I don't have service. But if I'm at home uh, where I have Wi-Fi, you know, I can use it. You know, I can kind of look up things on eBay Motors or whatever. So, uh, sorry, that's not what the video is about. I'm just bragging that I have a smartphone. <laughs> I'm back here with my 1984 Chevy C10 truck left turn bill and my 1978 uh, C10 truck Billy James. Left turn bill was a real person and Billy James is as well. Left turn bill has passed away the man and his wife, Mr. and Mrs. Well, they're not. Mr. and Mrs. Left turn bill. Of course, that's not their real name. But the man that used to own this truck, I'm the second owner of this truck. The man that used to own this truck, uh, he always drove with the left turn signal on. So uh, the truck came up for auction after him and his wife passed away. They had a big farm. I'm going to make this really short. They had a big farm. They auctioned off everything on his farm. The, I guess the land and everything. This truck was in the auction. And you might think it looks bad now, but believe me, it looked much worse. My wife and I has done a lot to it. I want to thank Tim Dixon at Gas Axe Chop Chop for all the metal work he has put into this truck. And if you're interested, you can go back in my video history. I mean, this whole piece has been replaced. Rockers, cab corners. Just a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a whole lot of that. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I wound up with the truck. It was a six-cylinder, three-speed on the column, originally born that way. But now it's a 350, four-speed. So I haven't, I'm ashamed to say since I got that truck, uh, I'm still calling it the truck with no name, the 1985 Chevy truck. And then I got the 2003 Cat Eye truck. I haven't even come back here to look at these to make sure they were okay with waspers and mice and stuff. I keep glue traps in my vehicles. I've connected the battery up on this and then I hope, you know, if I can, these, these trees have... I've got allergies. I live in East Tennessee and pollen is really terrible. So I'm going to try to withstand as much as I can outdoors today until I just really just can't breathe much no more. And uh, we'll see how, how good this goes. But I'm going to give it a start, give it a crank, back it up, and uh, we'll go from there. Like I said, I've already connected the battery up. These are the original wheels that was on this truck, left turn bill. And uh, some of them were May Pops. Uh, yeah, I've already connected the battery. I, I pray if I get myself in here because it is kind of a tight fit for someone like me. But I can get in here and uh, it'll have a good battery connection. Okay. Oh, I made it. Can't get in on this side. <laughs> I'm a parts hoarder. Definitely. Let's hope it's got a good battery connection. And it does. Praise the Lord for that. Praise the Lord for that. This is a good old truck. I, I really like this truck. It's turned out to be one of my favorites. It's been a long time since I've started this, guys. So... Please be patient. Bear with me. I just got to get fuel up to it. Come on, buddy. You can do this. Do this for me, okay? <laughs> Whenever I talk nice to either one of these trucks, they do what I ask. Isn't that amazing? God is good. Anyway, uh... It's got an AM FM in it now that works. It had a it was born with an AM radio. This truck is bare bones. You got a heater and an AM radio. 
and our six cylinder three speed on the column it's now a four speed in the floor with a 350 that uh, GM Tim 38 uh, freshened up for me it's a uh, got a little cam in it and uh, I want to let this warm up just a little I definitely don't need no heat not that it was coming on but whew, I don't need it it's hot in here let it warm up for just a minute if you don't care to sit here with me for just a minute. As far as I know, that's the only bad spot on the dash. As far as I know. Mr. and Mrs. Left Turn Bill, I'll put this wind up so you can hear me. They drove the wheels off this thing. I don't know how many miles it actually has on it. It shows 29,000. Might be 129, might be 229. I don't know. But left turn Bill, the man that owned this truck. Uh, whenever the six cylinder engine would wear out, he would go to the Chevrolet dealership and get another six cylinder put in it. So, I mean, I don't know how many motors this old truck has had, but it's had a bunch. This has been a farm truck its whole life. So when you look at it, remember, it's been a farm truck its whole life. It's worked its whole life. Actual work truck. I'm going to back it up just a little now. You know what? I think I'll try to take you to the front yard. But I'm going to have to use both hands because I can't shift through the clutch and this thing does not have power steering. This truck does not have power brakes. So I do not want to have an accident. So I'll see y'all in a bit. Hang in there, okay? Okay, guys, I got it to the front yard. Uh, I, had, I remembered I had my radio on, so I had to turn it off so I don't get any copyright infringements. I've uh, been dinged a couple of times on YouTube for that when I didn't even know didn't even know the music was on uh, I'll just show you around the truck I've had a bunch of new subscribers so bear with me just show you around the truck well I'll show you the engine first GM Tim 38 done a bang up job on this engine he freshened it all up new oil pump new cam and lifters uh, you know just freshened it up it didn't have any machine work done it didn't need it and I got this motor from a really good friend of mine, and he drove it from, I live in East Tennessee, he drove it to Atlanta and back in the C-10 truck he has, and picked up a new crate engine. Uh, he was building building a new engine for his truck, and uh, I bought this from him. He was kind enough to let me, offer me the engine because I was wanting to put a V8 in this, and I bought it. So, it's a, it's a bang up little engine. Anyway, it's, it's not much to look at, and I always, always undo my batteries if you're wondering why the hood doesn't close. It's because I caught something there. It's too hard in the garage to disconnect the battery. I can't reach around and undo the hood. Uh, here's, I put a new air dam on this one, air deflector on this. Put the bumper guards on it, painted the grill, headlights, and I added this bow tie because this thing was didn't have a bow tie it's an 84 model and i don't know if it's because it was a six cylinder or what i i don't know but it's a this is the cheap old cheap old truck i mean the cheap one it's a custom deluxe and it doesn't have any frills whatsoever i mean you just got a like i said a radio and a heater and uh power steering's in your arms so <laughs> uh real quick I rattle can painted the whole truck. I two-toned it. It was, this is the original color, pretty much sand. It's called sand. I got it at a, a co, our local co-op. I just got something as close to the original color as I could. And I two-toned it because it's just too much sand, <laughs> in my opinion. So I two-toned it, and uh, we added this uh, new molding. 
and I added this piece here because it didn't have it, so I added this. Got it at the auto parts store. Uh, lowered it, and uh, like I said, it had those original wheels on it in the back. Put these truck rallies on it, and uh, of course, new dual exhaust. This truck has had the works done to it. All new brake lines and i'm talking metal and rubber new brake lines everything underneath shocks everything's been lowered gm tim done that and uh i forgot the name of the kit he used but he said jimmy that's my name jimmy if i didn't tell you he said jimmy said let's let's go with the cheapest kit they got and so that's what they did hey that's my wife mrs pib he said, let's go with the cheapest lowering kit they got. So that's what we done. And uh, it wasn't very much. I mean, it, uh, I, you'll have to go to GM1038 on YouTube and ask him what kit he ordered. I don't have a clue. I just told him, yeah, let's, I said, I just want to go the, in my mind, well, let me say, in my wallet, right? We were trying to go the cheapest way we can. I know the truck's not worth a whole lot. It's not an AC truck, power steering, nothing. I'm trying to put power steering on it when I have the money in time and get a few more parts gathered up. But it's come a long way, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. Just go back in my... I, I'll try to put some video, some pictures up of it at the end of this video if you'll stay tuned. So when I close the video, just keep watching for another few more seconds or a minute or so. But like I said, left turn Bill and his wife drove the wheels off this thing and everybody in the county this truck is from new left turn building they called him that to his face because he always had the left turn signal on but uh i mean it's it's turned out to be a, a jam up truck my wife is over here on the porch messing with uh fake flowers she's making a oh what do you call that with the flowers arrangement arrangement to put on a graves and stuff yeah to put on to put on graves so she's doing she's doing that and while she's doing that i thought i'd play with this my wife and i bought a sport bumper for it and gm gm tim done a bunch of work on this truck and so did tim dixon at gas axe chop shop you can find him on facebook gas axe chop shop axe he done all the metal work but brian put the bumper on tim done the exhaust uh, just a whole bunch done to this truck I, I put this on before I got all the rust fixed I don't know if it's really appropriate now because there's there's not any rust but anyway I like it don't you anyway I, I, I left all the well scars I like well scars it tells a story I know I've said this a bunch like I said cab corners Put some rockers in it, and uh, it's this truck has always lived in East Tennessee. But Brian said that uh, uh, the problem was left turn Bill drove this out in cow pastures and uh, feeding cows and whatnot. And he said that when he was lowering it and putting brake lines and all that other stuff in, it was a uh, <laughs> he said it's just caked full of cow manure, so that's what rusted out. When I, if I can think of it and put pictures at the end of the video, this whole thing was eat out. I mean, it's just, it was just a truck we saved, right? My friends helped me, Tim and Brian and Charlie and Waylon. I have a bunch of friends that helped me, guys. I guess they feel sorry for me. I don't know, but, <laughs> but they all know this truck. So anyway, I thought I'd show you old left turn bill here and, uh, I, my plans are for this truck I mean I get sidetracked easy like I said I got that 85 I just got I'd like to someday one day whenever I get up enough money we're on a fixed income so it takes a while I can't just uh, this thing I, I'm not Richard Rawlings or Dennis Collins I have to just do things on the cheap when I can afford to do it so I'm, I'd like to replace the seat I've already bought new carpet for it I bought a lot of things for this truck guys but it just takes time and money and Money is more in short supply. I have more time than <laughs> than I will ever have money. So, but yeah, it's 
this is it I just thought I'd show you the whole truck I hadn't started it in a long time and I thought well maybe I better get in here and give it a give it a start there um, anyway I, I'll see y'all in a little bit hang on yeah Mrs. P.I.B. Mrs. P.I.B. is going to drive it it ain't been drove in a long time guys She's not used to it. She is not used to it. And I had to tell her the shift pattern. And uh, I haven't drove it in a while. I, I don't drive too much of anywhere, to be honest with you. I told her to take it easy. It doesn't have power steering or brakes. So, I'm trying to listen for her. She should be back in just a minute. Hang on, guys. Okay, she should be coming around through here in just a minute. Here she comes. It's kind of hard to, especially if you've never drove it. It's kind of hard with manual steering. Everybody's used to power steering, and I am too. Well, maybe she's used to it. <laughs> Good deal. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, just turn it off. Thank you. Appreciate you watching, guys. You're watching Primer is Best, and that's Mrs. P.I.B. the Hot Rodder. So, thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I'm also on Instagram. Primer is best. Facebook Primer is best. And I got a Sega YouTube channel called Man on a Budget. And I'm on Instagram, Man on a Budget 1. So check me out, please. Please like and subscribe. I need to drive this truck more. I guess the gas might be starting to get a little bit old, too. So I filled it up uh, <laughs> oh, one, a long time ago. So I probably need to run some gas out. But it's been just now getting springtime here. And my yard stays drenched. And I've been stuck in the front yard before. So just now starting to dry up but we got a storm coming this evening so i'm going to end the video here oh boy anyway thanks for driving it if, don't forget if you have an old car or an old truck that you'd like me to put on my youtube channel it doesn't have to be pretty it can be just like this or whatever i have pibs that stands for primer is best pib subscriber rides also uh this i have pib swapping shop too so you can send me a video to any one of those subscriber rides or swap and shop and uh i'll be happy to put it on my youtube channel for free just send me a video two three minutes long please turn your phone sideways just like i have mine no music or no foul language please so send me a video of what you're working on what you just found in the woods what you just drug up to your house or what your neighbor has it doesn't have to be yours it can be your neighbors or your friend's car or truck it can be ford chevrolet i don't care it's all in good fun stick it on there i'll let you know when i post it up and i put them up in the order that i received the videos so i thank y'all for watching god bless each and every one of y'all it's a beautiful day today and i hope y'all are, are i hope that y'all are enjoying this day just like we are right God bless y'all. Catch you in the next one. See y'all later.